Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So I know this is a little bit late, but I actually wanted to make this video since yesterday since the Shivas and the Suras came out. I actually never did a review on their skills. So I'm going to take a look and I'm going to offer some of my opinions and just what I think about how good their skills are and, and shit like that. So um, let's start with the fire one. I think I've already talked a little bit about him in, in a previous video. He has a 100% stun. This is a very, very strong skill for the arena. And he also has an HP siphon. This is also really, really good um, because if it works the same way that the like like the Water Nightmare does, it actually heals for 10% for every enemy that he hits. So if there's four enemies, he's going to be healing 40% of his max HP, which is a lot. So that's... Yeah, that's, that's pretty much the fire one. Um, since I already talked about him, I'm not going to talk too much about him. The water one has Thirst and Recovery Down. Thirst recently got buffed to 30%. It used to be 20% and it also lasts two turns. That's that's 60% of the enemy's SP um, you know, SP bar gone, which is actually quite a lot. Like, SP bar is pretty strong. I think I think this is mostly for maybe for PvP because like, if you're fighting someone that has... Um, he's basically an anti-healer. Because if, if he puts Thirst on the healer, they, they won't be able to charge their SP bar up. And then before they can charge their SP bar up, he's going to be putting Recovery down on them. So um, I think he's a very, very strong counter to, to any, basically any healer. That's that's just my my my, my look on it. Um, this one has Predator and Seal. Predator is very, very strong. I think like basically it's just 40% extra damage like just out of nowhere, which is... Which is actually a lot, like 40% extra damage for just any attack is is um, really, really... It's not even like crit damage or anything, it's just 40% increased damage, which is really good. Um, seal is really, really strong. Like, he's the first monster to have an AoE seal. So, you know, this... As as soon as he gets this off, um, I think it's pretty much GG for any, any PvP fight. Um... AoE Seal might be really, really strong in some dungeons as well. I think you can just basically use him as a nuker, and Seal always works well. Although you can't seal the boss, but you can still seal the uh, mobs beside the boss, and you can also, also seal any mobs um, during the level. I think he's a pretty strong attacker. He also has... Um, I think he's, he's also attack-based, right? I'm pretty sure he's attack-based. Um, yeah, it says right here, attacker. Right, I'm blind. Um... And I think the light dark ones we've already seen before. I'm going to look at the, the Suras also as well. So I actually got this guy yesterday. I think he's a very, very strong offensive healer. Um, basically, he's a basically like a hybrid healer. Um, he's going to be able to nuke. And you don't have to stack any sort of healing or anything on him. He's going to be healing this flat amount based on the allies, 20% of the allies HP. So every time he uses this skill, um, he's going to be healing for 20% of everyone's HP. And he gets an SP bar increase of 20% every t every single time he attacks, which is also really really nice, meaning that he's going to be able to spam the skill a lot more. And also, he's an him being an attacker. Um, as soon as he uses this skill, he's going to get like you know SP back from the enemy because he basically nuked, and um, it's going to just generate more SP. And he's going to be able to keep healing. I think I think he's definitely going to be really really strong. If I have the resources to make him at least evil two, I'd probably start using him. Um, whoops, messed that up. The water one, actually I, I haven't had a really a lot of chance to look at this. 100% um, chance done. I don't think any other 4 stars have this. Um, but it's only for critical hits. But if you have the right gems, basically you're getting a 4, you're getting a 100% chance done on every single one of its hits. If you can get his crit rate high enough. Um, 2 turns done, which is, which outclasses a lot of like even nat 5s as well. Um, and he gets predator, which is like increased damage, just flat increased damage, you know. So that's that's really really good. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's single target, right? His his second and first skill. It says focuses all his fist his strength into his fist for a devastating blow. I'm assuming a single target. I haven't I haven't really tested out yet. But either way, it's it doesn't um, it's basically just going to make him a strong strong single target attacker. So the the wood one has a has a budget seal 70% uh, for, for two turns. Seal's always really nice. Seal is very very strong in PvP. It's basically it basically is going to be the the new meta very very soon. Um, once a lot of these monsters are become obtainable, 
Because right now the only monsters, like the only really, like before this update, the only really obtainable monster for that has seal is the Water Nightmare. And, um, you know, she's even a nat 5, so it's it's not really that easy to get her. And he has Sap on his second skill. Uh, although I don't think Sap is very strong in the arena, I think um, him having seal is definitely going to be worth worth using. And I think there's 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 also a light one, yeah. So the light one, light one in my opinion, probably is the strongest one. Um, he restores restores ten percent of his allies HP whenever he attacks. So basically, kind of like the light Cosmo, but um, he doesn't have to crit. And this he restores um, a hundred. He he has a hundred percent chance to restore twenty percent of um, all allies HP when he attacks. So he's basically going to be healing quite a lot. Um, and just, you know, also doing damage at the same time because he is like, you know, he's balance type, but you can still build him for attack. And you can stack a little bit of HP on him, so he's healing himself a little bit as well. Um, so he can he can survive. And he's gonna be healing basically just a lot. I think he's the, he might be the probably the the or one of the best um like hybrid hybrid healers in the in the game. Um you know, if if you can get the resources to build him. So the dark one is uh, HP Siphon and Hunter. Hunter is Hunter is pretty nice. Critical hit damage by 50%. Basically a lot of damage. HP Siphon means he gets self-sustained for himself. Um, he's a dark type monster, so he's gonna have you know 100% crit damage. And if you pair that up with Hunter, that's another 50%. Um, so that's like a, he's gonna have 150% base crit damage just by just by being him. That's why. Um, that's why a lot of dark monsters, like any dark monster that has Hunter, like the dark Gatito or the dark uh, Moonflower is very very strong. Like they, they just hit a lot harder than any of the ele other elements because of the extra 50% um, crit damage added on top. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I, did, I did actually not take a look at their variant skills. Basically the Soros have a critical hit. And the Shivas have a, um, if I remember correctly, it's HP, right? HP in dungeons, HP in dungeon, and critical hit for, for um, everywhere. Yeah, it goes up to 20%, so that's pretty nice. All right, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go back to farming now. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this review. If you guys liked it, be sure to like it. If you guys didn't like it, be sure to dislike it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.